this particular camera is actually quite personal to me well the camera line so that's the rebel series today i'm talking about the canon eos 250d that's the rebel sl3 basically why is this camera personal to me when i started off in, in photography and videography a few years ago my one of my first cameras that i actually did use for proper professional work was the original sl1 so that's the 100d and at the time this was like the best camera that i could afford at the time it wasn't really that expensive to buy i think i bought one of them new and the other one second second hand so that means that when i'm like shooting wedding videos i could always get two angles and majority of my money was spent on glass which i will always advise spend your money on glass instead of expensive camera bodies yes there are some really great things you can get out of certain camera bodies but your glass will last you a lot longer so at the time i think i was using a sigma 7200 the ef mount and the oh, i can't remember it was one of the art series as well i think it was a 50 it doesn't make sense because this is a crop sensor but i was able to get a lot of the, out of that camera for so many years i think two three years of um, professional work and personal work as well until i could actually start feeling the need to upgrade to a more robust system so when i'm talking about this eos 250d i'm talking from a pure place yes when the 100d came out so the sl1 it was dubbed as the smallest and the lightest um dslr and now canon is still using the same marketing um, strategy or scheme by saying that it is the smallest and the lightest 4k camera okay good for you canon but it's a dslr nonetheless i've kind of shifted a lot into mirrorless but this is not me trying to obviously get in your mind or say you should switch so what does this camera come with um it's only weighing 451 grams that's with the battery included and the batteries are quite tiny that was one of the downside when i was using it but i always use a dummy battery anyway so yeah, i was fine with the battery life um it's a 24.1 megapixel um sensor so like i said earlier it's an APS-C sensor the nine points autofocus but the good thing is it's got dual pixel autofocus i haven't got a live one to test out but if it's anything to go by with a dual pixel autofocus, they've always been good and something to compete with when it comes to Canon. So yes, nine points is not that good, but it's dual pixel autofocus. Canon is saying that it's for hobbyists and beginners or just people that are kind of trying to learn more. Well, hobbyists in a way. But for me, I did actually use my cell one for professional work. My customer didn't know, but it's the quality of work that you release, really, not the gears that you're using. Um, it's using a Digic 8 processor. You've got an optical viewfinder, and it also has a 3 inches articulating screen, which is good. And it's a touch screen as well. Articulating screen is great. So I think this camera will be great for definitely beginners. I definitely did get a lot out of the two models, you know, um, old to this you could semi use it for professional work so it could be your c cam your d cam or even sometimes a b cam you can use it for vlogging definitely because it's small it's lightweight and it's got the articulating screen so what i'm doing right now this camera will be perfect for it canon low light is not the best for APS-C cameras but i think the time when i was using my sl1 I could comfortably push it to around 800 in odd cases i will go to a thousand and then there is a lot of noise being introduced but please take this with a grain of salt <laughs> grain and low light sad um <laughs> this camera will be um, available in black or white don't know why people make white cameras but hey it's funky this camera sells a lot in um japan as the last time I checked so they always call it um kiss series rather than the SL1 or the 250d so yes those colors are more funkier 
there. And obviously, like I said earlier again, they are dubbing this as the smallest 4K DSLR camera. So yes, it shoots 4K. Good. This is 2019. It can shoot it at 23 frames per second and that's 20, 23.98, so 24 frames or 25 frames. Yes, you're not getting no um, 50 frames per second or 60 frames per second. This is a very cheap camera, which is coming at $600. So yeah, don't be expecting heaven and earth from this, but you could definitely argue the, the mirrorless counterpart can deliver a lot more. Yes, if you're really into Canon and you're not interested in mirrorless, then the SL2, SL3, no SL2, is a good option in my opinion. You've got headphone jack on it, so it means that you can actually monitor the audio, which is always a plus. So that's it really. Um, this is just a recent announcement. Exciting? Mm. Yes, no. If you're already in the SL system and you want 4K capability, then maybe it's worthy of an upgrade. Um, but I would say if you've got the SL2, probably not worth the upgrade. But if you're new to just getting the camera in general, this would be a very good camera to start off with. With this being an AF system, you've got a lot of choices in regards to lenses to choose from. That's one of the positives about um, the Canon system. I predominantly shoot on Sony and recently Blackmagic camera, but I still have my um, Canon EF lenses only because of just the choices, the price competitions with them and uh, adaptability of it. So if you've got a lot of Canon glasses, you can slap them on this. Bear in mind that it is a crop sensor. I think it's a 1.6 X crop. So be mindful of the type of lenses that you're throwing on it. But hey, when I started, I was not um, well informed about what I should be using. I had, yeah, it is a Sigma 50 mil and the 7200. So I could not literally get any wide shot apart from the 1855 that normally comes with the 7Ds and whatnot. That was the only camera, the only lens I could use to get wide angle shots. So that's it really. Um, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't like it, bash the thumbs up button. Just let me know how unhappy you are with it. I would love you to like, to comment, and share the video as I'm growing. I would love you to grow with me. Anyways, it's Samuel from 10 Things I Like About and peace.